Bang! Needs knives. I'm Jared, and this is kind of a goof off video. I, I I haven't done this in a while, and I felt like doing it. I did not even bust out the camera or the microphone. This is just right off my phone. But I want to talk about a few things, and we'll check out some USA made knives. But the original goat titanium scales and backspacer everything will be linked below discount code 15 percent off for you guys man these are really really nice titanium scales and i really like the aluminum ones don't get me wrong but this massively improves this knife like i you know the the, the aluminum scales they're, they're good they're really good but i I do like having just a little bit of weight, right? And I don't have to have it on all my knives, but the aluminum scales are really, really light. But, you know, it did make the, the knife feel a lot better than it was. These, they feel so much more solid. And just something about titanium. You guys know me, man. I, I love titanium. And this takes this thing over the top. And... You guys already know I got the Spear Point Hollow Ground Transparent Knives Reblade. Now, if you guys are wanting to get one of these, he's going to do 20 spots. So if you follow him on Instagram, if you follow, follow Brian, I'll link him down in the description. Brian on Instagram, he's going to do, he's going to fill 20 spots, but you have to fill out and he's going to randomly pick 20 spots for the reblade. If you want to get a reblade, mine's Magna cut 64.5 HRC, super deep hollow grind. This is 10 thousands behind the edge and it's 10 thousands, like moving all the way up the blade. It is mega thin and the Magna cut. I can't express how happy i am with this magnet cut one it, it the edge just lasts forever um i mean this geometry it can be dull and it still cuts good but i um i was testing it and i was cutting just a massive amount of cardboard i had so much i had to cut and i was testing multiple knives and i filled an entire box of uh, with cardboard and i mean like thin slices and some of the some big slices but all different kinds of cardboard and afterwards it was still cutting paper like and any other knife i would have grabbed would not have been still cutting paper not that not like that it wasn't perfectly clean cutting paper but it was cutting paper the sound also got improved Um, you guys aren't going to be able to tell because you guys didn't, weren't flicking my knife before I put the scales on, but it did improve. I think of it as improvement. I guess you could just say it did uh, change a little bit, but to me it improved. Love the sound of it. Now let's check out some other, oh yeah, one, one other thing really quick. This makes, with this blade and these scales, USA made, damn near. So all I have left is the liners and the lock that is made in Taiwan uh, from Demco Knives. Now, original GOAT. Support them as much as possible, guys. It's a USA company. They're doing big things. They're going to continue to, to grow as much as possible. Um, and, you know, like I said, USA company. They're trying to uh, get into the community and offer us a service that other companies are not while staying at a, a reasonable price. So the more we support them, the more they are going to be able to offer us. So I think it's a great thing. And they do incredible work. They're, they're great people. I've spoken with them. They, they've been awesome. So let's check out just a couple. Oh, yeah, the backspacer, too. Check that out really quick. Very, very nice. The fit and finish, I mean, everything went together so perfectly. Also, shout out to the person who sent me this WorkSharp kit to give away to one of the Bang Gang Squad members. Um, I have the join membership. 
you you can see it right next to the subscribe button. There should be a join button. If not, you can find it on your your laptop or your computer. Um, we do lots of sharpening stuff there. This is going to be given away to one of them, one of those members, and it has a a stone here, a freehand stone with angles already on it, and you can flip them to get you know 17 or 20 degree angle. And this stone or the plate is replaceable, and it moves a little bit with while you're sharpening. Um, I'll show that off on the next Bang Gang Live, and then we also got a little you know pocket hone. That's awesome, man. Thank you so much for that. I know one of the members is going to be really happy to get one of those now. Let's check out a couple of the USA made knives. Now we have the Tactile Turn Rockwall, also in Magna Cut. And we've tested this in Magna Cut. You can watch my video on Magna Cut and my thoughts on it and everything. And I also have a full review on this knife. Those are separate videos, but awesome knife, micro milling. I also have, check this out. I just pulled this out of my Tale of Knives, USA made. Um, shout out to Talica. He picked this up for me for my birthday. We got the blue stitching. I think this combination with the blue and brown looks so good. I wear jeans a lot and I wear brown work boots a lot. So it just, it pops. I love it. Now we have the tactile turn pen with the, the Timascus bolt. This, the precision build is like on this pen is so good. USA made awesome pen i this is the medium size one they have a smaller one and a full size pen great great pen though love it let the bolt hang out the side a little bit just a little bit let it match the stitching all right so but this is the same company with the knife and it's got the that same type of finish and the action on this is so good the thumb stud action like it's so easy to get to the knife itself reminds me of the quiet carry looking at it and things like that but it feels completely different this is super smooth the thumb stud action is it just rockets out not saying that the thumb stud action isn't good on the quiet carry waypoint but this is on another level of smoothness that the, the quiet carry does not have at all it is a smaller knife but you can still get a four finger grip beautiful mirror edge on my magna cut now these drop like um i'm not sure the dates but if you keep pay attention to their site they do drop uh pretty often i think um he's told me what uh like oh man every friday or something like that something to that extent i'm not positive but it, but it is very often. So these are very, very obtainable. Next, we have another one with some milling. We got the American Blade Works. And he drops these quite often as well. This is his, uh, I believe it's his newest design. I mean, it's the newest one I seen on his site when I got it. Um, I didn't get it that long ago. Uh, maybe a month or so ago. But USA made American Blade Works Model 1 Full Titanium. This is the first time I've seen he's done a frame lock. I think he has done other ones, but this is the first one I personally seen. And I am loving this knife. The detent in action, super solid, nice and smooth on the drop. The finish on the blade is really nice. It has a stone, a smooth stone wash, and that's why the bearings are rolling so smoothly. No friction whatsoever. And I like the sound of the action. It sounds like a, like a snap. Hold on, let me get it. Kind of reminds you of snapping a finger. But yeah, I love the blade shape. Love the ergos. I like that I can choke. I can aim. The only thing I can aim with is like my regular hits. Oh God, come on. Choke up like that when I want to, the, the texture. Is really, really nice, badass knife, um, super solid, everything, the fit and finish. Took it apart, put it back together. I did put some Gillians inside here too. The action, eh, it didn't improve that much, but I do like the thought of having them in there. Um, it's still very smooth, just the same way it was before. Yeah, I don't think it, but you know, they're still breaking in because I just recently put them in there. 
next let's check out just a couple more really quick usa made knives now somebody asked me earlier about the cme really quick everybody knows about the spiderco uh, pair 2 pm2 this is the one in k390 um, i did a sharpness tester on ooh. Ooh, it's so sticky. The thing is, is that that wasn't even a fresh edge. I did a short. So you guys probably don't know what I'm talking about. I did a short earlier today, and I tested the sharpness on this on the, the best sharpness tester. And it, it wasn't even a, a, a brand new edge. I've been using this. This is an old edge I put on it, but I just hit it on a strop. And it and it's still sticky sharp so i was like screw it i'll just test that that edge you know even though it's not a fresh edge it's you know been used maybe, maybe not a ton or anything but it's not fresh for sure i haven't sharpened it in uh probably a month or so but i hit it up on a strop did the tester and it still scored really good um I will wind up doing another one with a fresh edge. I did notice that right after I posted the video, I hit this one on the best tester and it beat it. <laughs> I was like, man, why didn't I do that one? <laughs> um, but that one had a fresher edge. Anyways, the, the CME, these are done by um, OCD for EDC. So if you go to OCD for EDC, um, you can... Uh, get on his site that he has he 3d prints things and this is the cme he has all different colors and things like that i love it it makes it where i can use this left-handed it's just like a button lock it kind of turns the compression lock into a button lock and it's so much easier to use not that the compression lock is hard to use but left-handed it definitely is so awesome knife everybody loves the spiderco pm2 or at least some people do um another one that is fairly new to my collection holy cow man i gotta sharpen this oh my goodness look at this i didn't even this is unacceptable holy cow look at all those chips look at that what did i do with this I don't remember, but dang it, man. It's like, it's all teeth on it. Like, it's like it's chipped everywhere. Anyways, I, I can't say that it's the steel because I don't even remember what I did with it. Uh, but anyways, uh, it, it's definitely, it was probably something I did for sure. Um, not, not saying the steel, but awesome knife. It is more of a slow roller in my opinion but you can reverse flick it no problem and you can thumb flick it no problem or just use the access lock some people like to do that i don't ever do that but some people do well now i just hit my thing not like it, like it matters <laughs> anyways but yeah i just personally like to slow roll it now this is the sig sar k320 and if you got a sig right this is a great uh way to to match your your piece with your piece, you know, your blade with your, your piece. So, um, I think that's pretty cool. And I like that they went to Hogue USA made S 30 B. This is FRN scales, but you know, it feels a lot like a, um, you know, a firearm, especially with this grip. And they did knock down a little pad on both sides here for the, the clip to slip in and out the access lock or able lock is really easy to disengage and it is rock solid it's one thing i love about a lot of access locks not all of them some of them have a little bit of up and down but a lot of companies lately man they've been knocking it out of the park they just do the geometry of the lock really good and they seem to be able to really get them rock solid and this is really good beautiful stone wash and it's tip up left and right like you can put the clip any direction you want came super smooth perfectly centered great great knife um and i i'm appreciating it more and more now i know you guys are probably looking at that like what what is that well that is i don't know <laughs> it's to protect your finger from slipping over the edge i don't think it's really necessary but you just got to be careful sharpening it not to let it recurve uh but if you do it good you won't do that you just got to make sure your edge 
That goes nice and straight from here to here when you're sharpening it on the stone. If you want to keep it there from stopping to slide over, or you can just knock it out, you know, if it bothers you. It's really easy with a Dremel. Got the flag. All right, what do we got? We got one more we're going to pop up. Should we pop up one more? Let's check out the old Benzy. Let's just check out the old Benzy. Doing all USA. Let's check out the old Benzy. Oh, you know what? Actually, this is awesome, but I should pull out something else really quick. So, just so nobody asks, this is the Sabenza 21 with the wood inlays, both sides, two tone finish, S35 VN blade. Awesome knife. Mine is very smooth because these are on washers. And I have the replacement thumb studs that I got off of Etsy, titanium. But let's check out one of my newest favorite knives in my collection. I love this thing. This is the Hinder XM18 Sheep's Foot. Now, this one's going to be harder to get than anything else I've shown already. So just know that. But it is obtainable, but not as easy as anything else I've already shown. This is the Skinny. 3.5 inch XM18 hinder with the triway pivot sheep's foot blade. And it is not only gorgeous, beautiful, but I just, I love it, man. The it's slimmer in the hand than my regular. Let me grab my regular. So it's the slimmer version of this one. So let me uh, put it side to side. I could grab the XM24 too. Shout out to Mr. Amazing, by the way, for... I could, I could go on and on. I could do a whole video about that. What is that? I think it's just part of the anno or something. Maybe I got something in it. I've been carrying it a lot. But you can see how much slimmer it is. It is a lot slimmer. And um, the blade is thinner too. The blade is thinner. The scales are thinner and it cuts a lot better. It feels really good in the hand. This is super comfortable too. Don't get me wrong. I love the way this feels in the hand. And one of these days, I am going to switch it to the Micarta scales that Mr. M Mr. Amazing sent me. So I'll have this one Micarta too. And I'll just swap out. I like to do that. But uh, yeah, man, it feels so good in the hand. It cuts just that little bit, and I know it doesn't take a lot off of the thickness, but that little bit makes all the difference. It's not a lot, but man, when you're cutting with it, it cuts so much better, um, and I just love it. Oh, yeah, I did knock down, because this detent is lighter. Not that it's, you know, too light. You know, the action's really good. It allows you to have the thumb studs really comfortably, but the detent's not super strong on this example. The detent is, is nice and snappy on this one, a little bit stronger. Now it's breaking in and it, it'll, it'll loosen up. But what I did, because I wanted to continue flipping it without giving myself too much fatigue, I knocked this down. I rounded that out a little bit. It doesn't look bad. And it made it to where now it's not stabbing me in the finger. So here's the difference you can see right here. This one, see how pokey it is? Like it doesn't look pokey, but it is when the detent is really stiff. Like see, my, I know my fingers look like crap right now. I've been sharpening all day. This one is nice and knocked off right there. So, so much more comfortable. And yeah, I am loving it so much. I did think about doing one other mod to it. Um, I might possibly do the regrind in the future. But besides that, I thought about knocking this back. You see how they give you an, a cutout right there? Where the titanium is back farther than the fat carbon fiber. So I could easily knock this back and just follow that line and it would look perfect and it would allow me to go from the side right here but i mean there's plenty of access already so it's not like i need to do it you know what i mean i don't need to do it in this video i said this was going to be a quick video this was kind of just uh 
uh, a shooting the crap video. Nothing, uh, nothing special, guys. But I did want to show you the original goat scales because those are available on their site. Fifteen percent discount code off, and I wanted to get up a video and uh, you know just kind of you know goof off a little bit. I don't normally do these videos, so you know sometimes it's fun to do. I love you guys. Peace.